Hey there everybody, this is Malwave here with another Transformers video review. As you can tell, I've switched formats. I'm now starting in hand mode, so that way I can get rid of the whole intro sequence, because apparently that was annoying to people. I am doing this week, Transformers Beast Wars Wolf Fang. Now, Wolf Fang, the Wolf Fang's vehicle mode is a very nice robot. It's a very nice design, considering the fact that, it is, that you can definitely tell it's a robot. You can see by the hands underneath the vehicle mode, you can see by the giant gap in between the back legs and the arms, and you can tell by the feet at the back because I have never seen a wolf with uh, shocks on his legs. That's the main reason why I purchased this figure was because of this mode. I didn't care about the robot mode, I just wanted to have this mode. Vehicle mode wise, I'm giving him a 20. Now, again, this seems contradictory to what I had just said, but there are a few issues. Obviously, you can see various pieces. I mean, the tail. You can see the friggin' bolt hole, the friggin' screws to hold the tail together. There's got the trigger mechanism. You can see the uh, little swivel here for the shield that will be later. There's a line that goes right down the center of his head. It's, 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 it's not as bad as Ironhide, but you can tell... I don't know, I have a thing for more seamless transformation modes. Because cars can get away with it, like if you have like doors or whatnot. But this is an animal. Now let's just move, let's move on to the robot mode. And we'll see if maybe this figure can make up a few points from there. And here is Wolf Fang in his robot mode. N now, as you can say, as I said, I'm not, I didn't buy this thing for the robot mode. But it's... It's okay. I mean, again, I'm not here to judge aesthetics because considering what they had to work with, it fits in with the Beast Wars, original Beast Wars toy motif, as here he is beside Cheetor. And you can tell, same sort of design. Anyway, I digress. Wolf Fang, mostly, one of, Mo one of Wolf Fang's main problems is his kibble. Now, as, as you can tell, there's his, there's his front legs, there's half his body on the sides, his heads, it's, 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 his, the kibble is on ball joints, but there's no denying that it's there. Just move that over, as those are for later. There it is. Articulation-wise, Wolf Fang's head is on a limited ball joint. Which means his head, due to his uh, chin-tastic chin, his sentinel prime chin, he can't turn completely around. So his head can only rotate upwards of maybe 180 degrees. His shoulder pads are on ball joints. His arm, his shoulders are ball jointed, as are the front legs for his wolf form. He can rotate at the shoulder 360 degrees, depending on what angle it's at. His arm can also come forward due to transformation and can bend at the arm. His hand cannot rotate. He has no waist articulation as to transform. You basically have to slide this whole piece in. But his thighs are ball jointed and he can bend at the knee. Bend back and forth. Um. I don't know. I'm going to give the articulation at about 28.5. It's average, considering, again, considering the time. And i got to put him in the center of the shot. Consider, as I said, considering the time period, it's, it's forgivable. I mean, this was the first major toy line besides Generation 1. That was, like, the, ma the next big incarnation. So they had to work with what they had. This is Hasbro still. And they had to work with what they had. I mean, when when you're told to design a Transformer that changes into a wolf, the first thing you say is, uh, do you want it blocky? No, we don't want it to make it look like, we don't want it to make it look like weird wolf. We want it to look like an actual wolf. Oh. But anyway, I digress. Gimmick-wise, he only gets a 19 and a half. Now, granted, he has some good gimmicks. Gimmick number one being his shield. Now, this thing is... Excuse me. This thing is his back in vehicle mode. 
and as you can tell it's got a little swing out handle which tabs into either hand I said that tabs into thank you I said that tabs into either hand don't do this to me so now he has a raid shield so now he can stop partying teenagers from breaking into windows he's got his uh, mutant mask which I while other while other characters spin around I never like the mutant mask. I keep it on because it looks like a cool visor. If I had the choice, I'd take it off and put it and leave it in the box, but I don't have the box. But his final gimmick is quite it's really nice. All right. Now, the first thing you do is move the shield. If you see these two little pegs here, those are and you see these two pieces on the side, you push on one of these and it reveals his missile and it's like a trident. Now his tail, remember that trigger from before? Has a little handle that flips out from the bottom and you tab said missile into the tail and you have Wolf Fang's missile launcher. And this thing goes at a pretty nice clip. I mean look at this. I'll just uh... That's pretty... oh crap and I lost the missile. It went under the table. I'll just pick it up later. But as, as you can tell, that is pr a lot of power for a missile. It's equivalent to maybe uh, Universe Starscream's Null Rays. So, again, that's why I give him that. Just tab in the... eh, whatever. I'll just leave the missile launcher because it doesn't want to tab it on camera. Uh, for fun factor wise, he gets a 23. Now, there are a few things, there weren't very many things on this toy that really, you know, that really say unsafe. Granted, this end poking, this end poking out of his chest, a kid could stab himself in the eye, but that's only a small chance. Wolf Fang is a nice small little figure. He's doesn't have very many frilly parts. Any frilly part that pops off has a ball joint that you can just pop back on. So... This was early Beast Wars techno. This was early technology too, so this helps. He's got a shield. He's got a gun. So for a kid, that's having two items in the same thing. Because while us teenagers find shields lame, they find them amazingly cool. And apparently, while I was filming, Wolf Fang decided to get drunk. The mutant mask again. The kid might find it cool when we don't. You know, like hey, he's, he's a different character now. But, all in all, that's, he deserved, he would be a nice toy to give your kid back in the day. So, out of 100, I'm going to score Beast Wars Wolf Fang at 83 out of 100. Top notch figure, I'm glad, I'm, I am glad to say that I paid over $23 for him, and it was good quality. Seriously, as I said in my, in my log, go and visit Playedia www.ebay.com slash Playedia P-L-A-Y-I-D-I-A this guy sells great great toys Wolf Fang himself not really much to offer in robot mode not really much to offer in beast mode but it evens it out it makes him a nice neutral figure it's a shame that he was a shelf warmer back in the day because he never appeared in the show. But the ironic thing is, he was originally supposed to, but since Hasbro had already had the Cheetor mold out, they didn't want to make a new mold. You know, by this time, I'm really not surprised. Hasbro being cheap. Wow. That's, ama that's an amazing revolution revelation. But again, I'm going off topic. If you ever get a chance to, either pick up him or pick up his remold uh, canine. So, without any so, until next time, this is Malwave with Beast Wars Wolf Fang signing off. See ya folks.